right, trainer, let's, uh, let's do it. Trainer, if you're not doing anything, I've got a few hours free. Would you like to come up? Your cabin is gorgeous. I've seen apartments smaller than this. Oh, an actual shower. The faucets in the women's bathroom are crap, by the way. In any event, I thought you might be in the mood to play. Chess? I bought a board on the Citadel. Gooey interface, not nearly as much fun as real pieces. But I hoped you might give me some pointers. Sure. I mean, you did mention the showers are crap. Do you want to take a shower? Take advantage of it? That's funny. I figured you'd be more interested in a shower. I didn't realize that was an option. It's an option. Well, just give me a moment to grab my things. Ah, uh, hot water and room to stretch. I could get lost in here. Mm. Oh, it's like a week's worth of stress is washing off. And the timing's perfect. I was hoping to look nice for somebody. Hot date lined up? Hopefully more than just that. I play for keeps. Sounds serious. That depends on whether she's interested. Uh, no. You, you do your thing. You relax and enjoy your shower, trainer. You deserve it. Well, good luck. Holler if you need anything. Oh! Will do. Thanks again, Shepard. No problem. Take as long as you like. And don't think this saves you from our chess match. <laughs> Just give me a minute to dry my hair. Come on. <laughs> My word, Commander. It's almost as though you wanted to spare your pawns the indignity of living under my regime. In real life, that tactic would have worked. Well, in real life, one doesn't move on an 8x8 eight eight square grid. You know what I mean. The pawns are infantry. A good infantry line like the Krogan can take a charge like that. That reminds me of a joke. What's the difference between Commander Shepard and a Krogan? One is an unstoppable juggernaut of head-butting destruction. Yeah, yeah, I get it. And the other doesn't have a smart-ass comm officer to keep her in line. Ooh, that's even better than the number of testicles punchline. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't run back to the lab, trainer. Thanks. So... Rematch? Hell yes. Alright, we have to talk to James, I guess. James, I've got some time if you want to talk privately. On my way. Hey man, how's it going? Good, James. You? Good, good. Wow. So this is what I can look forward to when I get my own command. Yeah? You want your own ship, Vega? Yeah, maybe one day. When I'm old and I can't fight worth shit anymore. Hey! You just come up here to make fun of your commander. Sorry, Lola. I guess... Maybe I got some things on my mind. I, I wanted to get your opinion on something. Shoot. What did you do when they asked you to join the N7 program? I mean, was it a no-brainer for you, or yeah. did you think about it before accepting it? Wasn't, it wasn't. I wanted to get to the highest, best place that I could be, a kid f coming off the streets. I wanted to do absolutely the best. The N7 are the best, so it was a no-brainer. I'm a soldier, Vega, and I wanted to be the best damn soldier I could be. It doesn't get better than N7. So I hear. You get the best training, best equipment, best assignments. And they expect the best in return. Yes, they do. Why are you asking? Well, 
Even all the shit that's going on, somebody somewhere managed to track me down and forward an N7 commendation. It's dated the same day the Reapers attacked Earth. You don't sound too thrilled. Well, aside from the fact that there won't be an N7 program if we don't win this war, I just... Being a soldier is the only thing I've ever been really good at. And not because I try. Hell, I'd have kicked my ass out years ago. Last time I had a command, I lost almost everyone. And they promoted me for it. I guess I'm just not sure if I'm ready to lead again. I don't know if I want that responsibility. What happened exactly? You mentioned that before. What went wrong? <sighs> what didn't go wrong? We were out on patrol, checking on some strange readings, and the collectors hit. But they hit the colony first. By the time we got back, most of the colonists had been subdued or abducted, including our CO, Captain Tony. So you were in charge? Yeah. We laid low for a bit, waiting for a chance to strike, but before we could, we were betrayed. One of the colonists turned out to be a Cerberus spy working with the Collectors. I had no choice. I killed him and destroyed the Collector ship. But it got ugly. We lost most of the colonists and all but one of my squad. Not exactly a textbook operation. No, it's not. But you made the best choice that you could in the moment. And you did what you thought was the right thing. I mean, and it sounds like it was the right thing. You can't blame yourself for being put in a tough situation. And if you were promoted, then something must have gone right. Sure, but... If you'd saved them all, would things have worked out better? I... I don't know. I don't think so. The right choice is usually not the easy one. Yeah. Did you know that before you joined the N7? Yep. That's why I was asked. And that's why they asked you. There is not a single N7 that hasn't sacrificed either themselves or their soldiers at some point. So you think I should accept? I mean, that's up to you, but I think I think that obviously if somebody um, pushed this, this through, then maybe it's a good idea. Only you can make that decision, James. But I think you already know the answer. I'm glad you think so. If you don't mind, maybe don't mention this to anyone else. Of course not. Gracias. Well, I think I better get back to the hangar. Things here, it's a little too soft for me. The bed's a lot harder than it looks. Are you flirting with me, Lola? I'm going, I'm going. Thanks again, Shepard. Anytime. Okay, anyway. I might change my outfit. I'm not sure yet. Shepard. I was hoping you'd check in again. You okay? Been putting my old academy training to use. Organizing the resistance. You know you've got quite a fan club back here. Any news we hear about the Normandy gives hope to the guys in the trenches. Well, I mean, that's good to hear. I know what that's like, fighting in the dark. I'm glad we're making a difference. It's more than that. A lot of these people have never held a gun in their life. When they heard that you managed to get the Torians and Krogan to cooperate, that was a shot in the arm, Shepard. Of the one thing we're in short supply around here. Faith. That any of us will live to see another day. How bad is it? It could be worse, but not much. Can you still coordinate any kind of counterattack? We're hitting the Reapers every chance we get. Mostly guerrilla style hit and runs. But it's not enough. It's time we started focusing our efforts. Where? London. Something big is happening there. Our networks in the UK say the Reapers have arrived in huge numbers. That doesn't sound good. I don't like the sound of that. Any more details? No. And that scares the hell out of me. Well, the Crucible will scare the hell out of the Reapers. We're counting on it. Oh, and Shepard. I meant what I said earlier about Kai Lang. The Reapers may seem like our biggest threat, but take it from me. Lang is a vicious bastard. Don't underestimate him. Noted. Then I'll let you get back to it. We need whatever good news you can send our way. That is enough. Cybernetics or not, he's still human. He can be taken down. So, that's how I look at it.
Alright, so we have to go back to the Citadel. Commander. Oh, I didn't check in with Joker. I forgot to do that. Let's go check in with Joker real quick. The Turians will hold. Pound for pound, they're the best fighting force in the galaxy. Pound for pound is irrelevant, given the significantly higher mass of Reaper forces overall. That's why we're bringing in the Krogan. Okay, guys. So servers wanted to go into politics, huh? Nice job shutting those assholes down. Didn't you used to work for those assholes? Something about leather seats. I worked for servers when they were vigilantes helping the helpless. Now they're a little too mainstream. And evil. The important thing is that you kick their asses. And Caden's back. He even remembered the first rule of serving on the Normandy. Don't shoot the commander. Okay, Joker. Don't worry. Be nice. He's just super loyal, which, as I said before, is a virtue, but it's a virtue that can be exploited. Go easy on Caden. He's been through a lot. Yeah, like drawing a gun on a superior officer, nearly getting the council killed. That's not going to look good on the yearly performance review. That's a good point. Edie. Hello, Shepard. What's on your mind, Edie? The destruction of the Reaper on Tachunka. It is rare for a technologically superior force to be destroyed by an inferior one. Yeah, so now all we need is a gun that fires Thresher Maws. That was a joke. I'm sorry, Shepard. I was contemplating. The Reapers are more fallible than they proclaim. Despite its best efforts, the one on Tachunko was destroyed by a worm. This has caused me to reassess the probable period of time before I am non-functional. You're worried about dying? In a sense. My processing power is consumed with calculations to help us combat the Reapers, but I can run those scenarios with the rest of the crew. May I ask you another question that troubled Jeff? Here we go again. What is the purpose of synthetic life? Well, technically, the purpose is to do what it was designed to do. That is technically why synthetics exist in the first place. Synthetics are created with a goal in mind. Just ask their creators what it was. But my creation was planned by Cerberus. I no longer serve their purposes. Well, Cerberus was originally created to give humanity a fighting chance. Right now, that might be a goal you can get behind. It would take significant resources and processing power. Do you think I would find it worthwhile? Well, you could do it as a favor to me. I'd make a pretty crappy husk. How would this differ from our present course? Well, because you're super smart and you were designed to be super smart. You're an AI, not a VI. You know that you would know the difference. It would change what you tell yourself. That's an important distinction. I see. It is interesting. That technique could apply to any goal I set. I will not alter my programming yet but I will devote processing power to considering a worthy goal. That answers my concern for now. Thank you, Shepard. You're welcome. Okay. All right, anything over here that I need to do? Hello? Was the Volus ambassador here earlier? Yes, he was, Commander. I need in. Spectre business. I'll unlock the office when you're ready. All right, well, I'm ready now. I'm ready now. All right, let's play the first entry. You've never been this uncooperative with us before, Ambassador. That's because you were actually doing some good in the galaxy before. Has that changed? 
How many colonies would be gone if we hadn't taken action against the Collectors? Too many. But fighting the Alliance... Must continue in order to end the war. We understand what? it took a lot for you to reach out to Cerberus, Ambassador Freaking Korlak. Cerberus. We ask that you trust us a little longer. Ugh, Cerberus. You people are monsters! Ambassador, please. Hundreds dead. Udina betraying the Council. I should have cut ties with you ages ago. And what will that accomplish now? The risks you took by passing information to Cerberus... It's left you in an interesting position. If you sever contact, we can't protect you from the consequences. I don't... I have no time for this. We'll speak again. Have a good day, Ambassador Korlak. Yep, they were using you, because that's what Cerberus does. The Turians think I'm still working for Cerberus. They've put a price on my head. I can't go to CSEC, but Cerberus has plans. An entire Turian colony rests on my life. If anyone finds this, I hid a tracking receiver in the office suite beside the human embassies. What are you... Damn, Cerberus has them everywhere nowadays. You're gonna go on about them all night. Just get that car Zaid? up here quick. Little bastard's even heavier than he looks. Zaid? What is happening? What is Zaid doing? Where is it? Over here? How long till we killed Korlak? Once the credits go through, was beginning to think you weren't interested in the money. I'm not. Because Korlak worked for Cerberus? What'd they do to you? None of your goddamn business. He waking up? This is Commander Shepard. Can you hear me? <sighs> yes. Yes, I can hear you. Tell me where you are. Uh, we're still near the Presidium. CSEC will check Selkish arms when they realize I'm missing. They won't give a damn when they realize you sold them out to Cerberus. Wait. Cerberus is planning to attack a colony that... Stay calm. Help's coming. Now arriving at... Zaid used to work for Cerberus. Ask him why he's here. Why? Why go after your old employer, Zaid? Now you know my name all of a sudden. Good question. Gruesome Academy also fell to the Reapers when Elysium was attacked, but Alliance forces were able to evacuate all the students. Damn, wrong door. Yeah. Need you alive to stop Cerberus. Cerberus is after a Turian colony. Kill me, and they get it. Drop my name. Shepard's investigating. Been a while, Zaid. Shepard. Glad I wasn't just making an ass of myself over a hunch. Undisciplined bastards. This is what I get for signing up at the last minute. Where's Korlak? I'm here, Commander. I... You saved my life. I almost died because the Turians thought I was still with Cerberus. You realize you could have avoided this. You should have gone to CSEC if your life was in danger. And be thrown into prison? No. The things they would do to me after the damage I caused. 
What intel did you give Cerberus on this colony? Information on a Turian planet's defense system. They'll strike soon. But if I tell you which planet they're attacking, Cerberus will know I turned traitor. Turn? You already betrayed your own people. We saved your life. Tell us what planet you put in danger. I can offer a bargain. The Volus bombing fleet. In tactical terms, it's worth far more than a colony. Or you could give us both. You can warn the Turians there'll be an attack, Commander. That should be general enough to ward off suspicion. Real. Zaid, you want to do the honors? All right. I tried playing nice. Maybe my friend can get you to see reason. Now wait just a moment. You mind, Zaid? It'd be a goddamn pleasure. I'll leave you to it. It'll be a while before anyone shows up for him. It's Aphis. Cerberus will attack a colony called Aphis for its shipyards. And the bombing fleet? Take it. It's all yours, I promise. I'll speak with Citadel Security about this... incident. You have my thanks. Took him long enough to spit that out. Huh? Zaid, what are you doing here? Later. C6 on their way. Won't be too pleased with the mess we left them. Catch up with me at the docks if you like. The docks? Okay. All right. I will do that. I don't think I need anything else here. Kaden? Um. Hello? Surprised this place can still get supplies for a menu like this. <laughs> Maybe it's better if we don't ask how or where. I'm glad we're taking the time to do this. I could use a sanity check. Things have been pretty crazy. You know, my life flashed in front of my eyes on Mars. And there weren't enough moments like this with people I care about. Yeah, we kind of need to talk. We, we, we need to talk. What's going on with you? How are you feeling these days? Feeling up to whatever the Reapers throw at me. And grateful that I convinced you to sit down for half a second and relax. Yeah, so about that talk. We gotta talk. Yeah. I think it's a good time for us to have a heart to heart. What are you drinking? <laughs> if you're trying to butter me up, it might take a nice steak sandwich too. So? Shot of whiskey and a good old Canadian lager. Think they have it? More likely to have Batarian shard wine. At my parents' place in Vancouver, <laughs> drank more than a few beers on their balcony looking over English Bay. Yeah. Beautiful view. You know what, though? I feel good about our chances. Yeah? Yeah. Lets me sleep better at night. You're not sleeping, Caden? Maybe a little restless. The war isn't the only thing keeping me up at night. I wonder about us. Us. I understand why you cheated. What? But I still love you, Shepard. I'm a little confused about something here. I didn't cheat. Sorry, Shepard. It's been... Well... Whoa, 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 whoa. I did not cheat. I did not cheat. And it, it seemed pretty clear on Horizon that we were broken up. Given what you said on Horizon, I didn't think we were together. I suppose you're right. I want to understand what this is between us. And make it real. <sighs> That's what I want. What do you want? I 
I can't. Too much has passed between us. You weren't there for me when I needed you the most. In fact, you... You went against me. And while I can understand that, given the circumstances, I, I can't trust that you'll continue to have my back when I really need it. Like, I trust you, but only to a point. And in order to be in a relationship, I have to have full, complete trust. I'm sorry, Caden, but we should just keep it professional. Right. Mm. Well, not the answer I was hoping for. Times are... <sighs> complicated. Oh, I understand. It's okay. So, uh, when does that steak get here? Uh, incidentally, you better be buying now. What'd you call it? A sanity check? Mmm. Sanity check.